How's it going guys? Welcome back to Peregrine. Sorry for the big delay between episodes here. I had to make room for scheduling some new content. Abby examines the abandoned weapon aimed at the skies. The detritus of a battlefield always speaks louder of the vanquished than the victims. That's pretty deep. I would I would have to agree with that. But yeah, I'm thinking now, depending on if the chapters are going to be like a comparable length to what they were for the first one, I think I'm going to try and come at this kind of like, maybe just in, in five or six like longish chapters, you know? Just try and break things up that way. Just have a, a handful of longer episodes. Let me see here. I need to scoop up this flower. And then he can just wander over here and spit it across there, right? I'm liking this cool, this cool icy. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. I got you. I got you, ox man. Wait, where are you going? I didn't. I didn't need you to go over there. He just kind of wandered over there on his own. I'm. I'm liking this. This icy environment. I think it's a little bit uh, cooler than what I was seeing before. I don't know. It feels maybe just a little bit more kind of the post-apocalyptic post-apocalyptic than than the previous the previous area I was in I don't, I don't know I, I kind of just like I feel like this feels a little bit more unique you know a cool ass ice setting an earth torn gorge of rock flanks Abyss path on either side hmm. its jagged edges have withstood a shattering bombardment well let's see can either of these creatures come help me out? Like, this just looks like a regular big-ass rock. What is with this one that's, like, glowing purple and stuff? I can't... I can't bring the ox over to it. Wait, but I can activate this up over here? Ah, now I have one of these guys. Can he... Is there enough of a range that he can make it back over there and block off this? I think he must have to grab a rock from back this way, as long as those totems have enough range. There we go. That's why this one's all glowy and stuff. It just had to highlight it for me, so I knew which one to grab. I love when this guy does his little, like, rotations. There's something about the way he kind of hop skips his feet around while he does it that just looks kind of goofy rather than, like, big, badass, and impressive. There's two different places I can put this. Oh, so one... One is blocking off the laser. The other one looks like it's actually for activating something in particular. Pick that back up if you can, please, Rock Beast. Shit, I don't think he can. But I think I need to place something else on that other platform, don't I? And that's how... I, I feel like I need to activate something to get across here. Like, place something here so I can get past this. Oh, whoops, shit, I just fell straight in there. How far back do I have to go here? What if I take... No, I didn't want that. I want the frog guy. What if I take the frog guy... Oh, come on now. What if I take Frogman and he moves the flower? Let's go, go suck up that flower. Fine, go the long way. Maybe I need to move the flower over onto that little pedestal and then this ox guy will go to it? Fuck, I can't pick that back up. I can't, I actually can't do that. Wait, I can just stand on it myself? Is that all I'm supposed to have done? Come on, it was starting to raise. Why can't I raise it the full way? 
Maybe that's enough? Maybe that's all that it needs to be raised by? Can I can I occupy this guy now and, and do something with him? Can he can he cross that? Uh oh my god, I think I'm gonna let him drown. But then I can walk across him. I'm sorry, I really hope you're amphibious in some way. Oh come on. Is that not is that not what I was meant to do? Because it seemed like it was working out perfectly. Okay, maybe having the big heavy guy stand on the platform does make more sense. Who's to say? A large rock fell and bed in the earth. It seems to have crashed again. It's a hell of a rock. What can I do with this ginormous rock? I think I gotta focus on fighting these guys first. Shit, we got shielding guys now? I don't know what to do about that. This guy looks like he's a spellcaster or something. Take him out first, right? Nope. That was a mistake. I gotta gotta occupy guys first. All right, who should I grab? If I grab this guy, he can kill the spellcaster. Perfect. All right, that was that ain't so bad. I think I was kind of overthinking that one. That one really, really wasn't that complicated. That whole area wasn't that complicated. I was definitely overthinking the whole thing, top to bottom. Is this the second monolith? A giant jet or spacecraft of some kind? Abby's thoughts turn again to her father. She tries but fails to recall an image of his face. A surge of panic. Oh, that's awfully depressing. Breathing heavily, she fumbles for her comms unit and dials the enclave receiver's frequency. Abby, are you hurt? No, I... I was scared. It started. I felt it. Just for a second, your features what, what, it, from my what is this place called? The Divide? Does it slowly just start to take your memories away from you? So is it not like the hostility of the area is, is why that other... There's a terrible sentence. The hosti hostility of the area that stops other people from advancing further through this journey. It's actually just that it starts to kind of make you go a little mad, maybe? God, I wish someone would have warned me about that sooner. Here I am dilly-dallying, trying to walk across a troll frog's face while I sink him down into the, the pits. Turns out I really should have been uh, getting a little bit of hustle in my step. Uh, where... Where is, like, one of these totems that I can actually make it to? This is an interesting change to the puzzle dynamic here. I actually have to go somewhere and do something without having access to a totem right away. Okay, I got two spellcaster types. I guess uh, occupying one is about the only thing I can do. Oh, he's super strong. That's cool, that's cool. Now I can just occupy another one. This is like my favorite part. I like uh, trying to think through how to handle these different combinations of these fighting creatures more so than I like dealing with like the these creatures and moving them around and stuff because it's it's usually pretty easy like this is the guy who rams things oh I know what I'll do I'll walk him over to the area where things need to get rammed and I'll make him ram the thing you know it's it's usually pretty linear thinking that way I mean the first part of it took me a little bit longer than that but you know there's like a logic there like a very a, pr a pretty simplistic logic to follow. They've added some complexity complexity to it, but I find there's a lot more complexity in the cool puzzles of like in which order do you attack these these monsters that have slightly different skill sets. Now, now let me look this over. All right, first first up, I need I just need Ox Friend. I'm sorry, I already forget what the different monster types are called. <laughs> it's been it's been like uh, close to a week actually since I recorded an episode. I think it's a grub troll, and unfortunately I don't remember what this guy's called, so he's just uh, unimportant in my mind. There's, I, I might as well try and take control of this guy. There is just not very far that I can take him. Oh, depending how far this moves. No, that's the uh, that's the outer reaches of his range there. So I guess I leave him be for now. Scorch marks obscure the sight. 
science letter. Abby squints to read the words Lazarus Complex. Armed perimeter. I hope it's not armed and it's just gonna gun me down. Also, I think there was something I could interact with back here. Yeah, when I first saw it, I thought this A was floating there while I was in control of the ox, so I kind of skipped it. A rusted sign reads, I want to try and read everything if I can. Okay, so the place I'm heading towards just generally doesn't sound all that nice. I really like how the totems spill over into the different sections of the game, though, so that you can start creating these, like, much larger connective connective areas. These frogs overall seem to be the most simplistic, like, especially when it tells me exactly where to spit it to. Oh, whoops, I guess I was looking at the wrong blinking point. He needs to spit it over to here. That's not going to do much good, is it? What can the ox do now? Hmm. Maybe I need to stop assuming that these things are going to be so linear and simple. Like all runes, it speaks of the mortality of those once imagined themselves invincible. Oh, shit. Let's see. Can I... I can't really get a good view of that guy. Do I need to take the troll? Fuck, I really can't get to him. Do I need to take the troll? Across there, maybe? Oh, there's another... Another one of those plant things that he can walk towards. Ah, uh, frog. Frog buddy. I need you to waddle walk your way over to here. And... Shit. Oh, that's the same... Is that the same one? I think it is. I'm just seeing it from a different angle, so it looked like maybe it was a new, different thing. Well, sh shit in that case. All right, but maybe I have enough totems activated to cover enough area that I can swap over to the troll now. I'm glad I'm glad it lets me do it from such a long distance because otherwise it, it would be just a pain to have to walk all that. A pain and just generally unnecessary. Uh, ah, maybe you can do something with all these barrels. Yeah, there you go. Build, build, uh, ox friend, a nice little raft here. This is my new way that I've chosen to refer to these animals, is frog friend, troll friend, ox buddy. They're all friends and buddies. Friend, guy, buddy, any, any of those sort of typical, typical according to South Park Canadian descriptors. That's what I'm choosing to stick with. What was it that I actually needed to headbutt over here? I don't remember seeing far enough ahead that headbutting was necessary. Ah, it just it just was less than obvious. Ooh, okay, we gotta headbutt the frog back and forth, probably so he can move. I mean, so he can do the thing that he does. But there's, I don't think there's any other creature that would need to be moved. Like, I already have an ox on both sides of things. Well, you just get to go on a fun little trip, don't ya? This is going to be a, a joyous little adventure for you, little froggy. Everyone else is freezing and struggling and nearly dying. You just get to go on a quick little ferry across the pond. I hope you're happy and I hope you enjoy yourself doing all that. Uh, you know what? I'm an idiot. That's like maybe, maybe I need the frog. Oh, come on. But I, I can't believe I didn't realize it was meant for me. Of course it's meant for me. What am I thinking? <laughs> I mean, like, maybe it'll be useful for, to bring the frog over. He's just a good friend. I like having him around. But, like, obviously the main objective was to get myself across. Ugh. Get out of the way, Shadow. I like that as a mechanic, except for in these small instances like that where it's... It's not a puzzle to get around it. It just is kind of in the way. But I guess they have to have consistency with these things. All right, let's walk you over. Abby's comms handset emits a tinny hiss. She accepts the incoming signal. Your comms fall silent, my child. Sadness stirs your thoughts. The gods leave pain intact. I still remember him. Isaac, presumably. 
the gods don't separate pain from joy when exacting their toll. We cannot choose what we lose in the divide. I waited outside while he spoke with the elders. After, he said barely a word. Just took his things and left. We are not a lucky people, Abby. The prophecy is our only hope. Isaac if every second in the divide is like risky and causing death and pain and suffering and all that, you should probably not waste the time Those having this discussion now. Have a duty to attempt the crossing. Ezra speaks, but Abby no longer hears him. Tears stream onto her cheek before being whipped away by the chaotic swirl of the wastes of frosty winds. Seems like. Seems like they really had to give up a lot to to come and do this. I can quickly run away there. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Didn't want to didn't want to get caught up in that quick laser blast there. Although, you know, now that I think about it, these obstacles seem very much man-made. Uh there it's not like these are something that the gods have placed here. Is this guy going to get shot if I walk him through there? Is it only set to target humans? It seems like it might be the case. I was I was kind of scared and feeling guilty walking this guy through there. Got a, little, got a little bit anxious for a second that he was definitely just gonna get like blasted, blasted apart. Nearly, we've nearly made our crossing. Up we go. Oh wait. I, uh, I thought there was an opening in the gate there. If there isn't, then I don't entirely know where to go. I th hope and think that I can just flick a switch or something here. I thought I made you stand on a switch or something important. Maybe I... Oh, I need two. I need two helpers. There we go. Okay. Well, now Frog Friend can come help. I mean, I'm sure I could have just as easily grabbed an ox to come do it. But since I have Frog Friend, I feel like I might as well. Uh, but I don't want to have to switch screens again. It won't let me grab him from here anyways. Come on, game. Cut me some slack. Frog guy, this is all you, buddy. That goofy walk will never get old. He's definitely the comedic relief of this of this squad. I hope there's only the two switches there, because that's all I thought to place. Oh, is it yellow because he's not heavy enough? Do I have to fucking grab this guy after all? Fine, you guys could both climb on there if that makes you happy. You can work together to activate the switch. Share. Share the space. Oh, come on. Maybe it just doesn't work at all. Now, is it all... Is it screwed up because I have the frog guy on there? That's a possibility. If I just... If I just let it be the ox... Will it be happier about that? Or do you need to replace that rock? If that thing has a limited... Ah, uh, that's all it is. That thing, the scanner, has like a limited range to it. So, rock, you get moved again. Multi-purpose rock. And then Grub Troll Friend, you are the second rock. You get to fill in for a rock. Does that make you feel super good about yourself? She knows that the Divide's tomblands contain the ruins of those who had lost a war with the gods. But seeing the twisted metal and torn earth before her still sends a shudder down her spine. Alright, just toggle this switch. Oh, we get to keep that open now. Good, 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 good. Now we get to keep all our friends. Uh, I thought he was maybe going to automatically just come walk over to that. Maybe I got to bring him in bring him into the compound and then he'll be willing to walk his way over. That is the Grub Troll's color, right? Oh, come on, you're not you're not who I wanted. You un, I'm sorry, guy, are just kind of going to get left behind. It's a little unclear sometimes which thing you're taking control of and it can make it a little bit tricky to actually select. Sometimes it's a little more finicky than I would like. It can be pain in the ass actually so when I move this rock I don't think I'm opening up anywhere that I need to go it's strictly needed for blocking things uh, 
I can only block one at a time. Oh, unless you can just stand there and block the second one? Oh, but you're gonna go walk back to one of those flowers, aren't you? Yes. Yes, that is what you're gonna do. Oh, shit. Uh, as soon as I did it, I realized that I was doing it. It seems like it, it has those screen changes as save points, which I'm super happy about. Why can't I just bash it, stab it with my spear, and, like, break it or something? Mm, do I need to bring the, f the frog? Oh, I can interact with this. No, it's just saying that I can interact with it if I get close enough to it, which I am not. Can't. Can't sneak across that way. What if th this is all just about timing? This really kind of goes against past puzzle solving. This isn't how it's worked before, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see if it's all just about sneaking in behind him. Fuck. Don't scratch your nuts, big troll guy. Oh, running into the holes again, God damn it. Oh wait, can the frog guy lick this panel? Oh, nice. Well, do I even need to do some of the other things? What was... There's gotta be something out that direction, though. Oh, but now maybe I can walk the big troll guy back. Like, maybe there's a rock up there that he can fetch and then bring back here? Uh, oh, that's only as far as I can take him. But it did give me a chance to just kind of look at what's ahead there. There's another totem to activate. That doesn't really help. Like, that doesn't help with... Oh, come on. <laughs> Accidental. Okay, that doesn't really help with getting past this, because it, it's definitely something out to the left there, like... I just can't... Ugh, there's no way around that. Shit. I cannot figure out how I'm supposed to... How am I supposed to cope with that? Maybe I have to bring a rock back from further than I would normally expect to? Let's, uh, let's venture our way across the bridge, I think. I think I kind of have to. Uh, oh shit, I hit the wrong button there. I think... Ah, shit, I don't even know anymore. There might be a rock super far away. Seems unlikely to have to bring the, th the guy this far. What the hell, why can't I... No targets available, I can't occupy anything? Uh, that seems like a glitch. I don't know, but it's definitely... I will die. Oh, I just realized there's a whole bunch of panels to step on here. All right, so I can't, I can't just run right in there. Uh, do they have to be heavy panels? Like, uh, heavy, heavy things to activate the panels is what I'm trying to say. So first off, I need you to take this rock yet again. We'll never run out of a, sh never have a shortage of uses places to stack a rock. So let's just get the first one of those going. You're probably going to be the second one. Like you'll just have to step up on a rock there. And third? We don't have anything else heavy. So I don't know. Oh! Oh, there's probably something from like the previous area. Like this, this has been permanently opened at this point. Oh, come on. Oh, I can't believe I didn't think to go backwards. I thought those gates would close. I didn't realize I had, like, short-circuited them. Ah, shit. Well, now I gotta bring both these rocks back here. Quit looking so pleased with yourself. That... We botched that puzzle hard, and it's equally your fault, Grub Troll. I knew exactly what I was doing, and you did nothing to help me. Totally useless. Ah, uh, shh. Oh, come on. All of this is just to go gather up a frog? I already found a way to get a frog. <laughs> I mean, it's totally... Ah, uh, I did it in a way that I totally wasn't supposed to, but I did do it. Now it seems like a big old waste, doesn't it? Oh shit, okay, I gotta be, I gotta be faster and try and get more attacks off here. I thought I... Whoops, that was, that was a mistake. Didn't mean to hit the attack button, but things kind of happen more or less live, it gives you the chance to occupy something, but then once you do that, you need to start, like, firing off attacks, because these things are going to come show up and try and fight you. Oh, I thought I could get one more attack off than that. Alright, it doesn't matter which I occupy, 
start killing each other, and then these will be easy enough to take out. Unless you hit the wrong button again. And now it's dealt with. I mean, I might as well activate the thing and read the, the clue or whatever it is. But if all of this was just to gather this fucking frog, then it was very unnecessary. Faint letter scratched upon the abandoned vehicle's paneling draw Abby's path. The words read, We reaped with abandon until we became God, lost. these gods just really have no chill. They really did a number on this world. Uh, yeah, I already got myself a frog. You know what, I'm going to stick with the one that I have. Thank you very much, game. Thank you for not realizing that I could just go get my own frog in my own way. Wasting all my time solving this stupid rock carry puzzle that I didn't even need to do. I like picturing this guy just grumbling the whole way back now. Stupid fucking puzzle didn't even need making me grab rocks I didn't need to grab carrying this shit all over the place. Like a goddamn good for nothing rock carrying slave troll. Just fuck me, I guess. Alright, what if you just go stand on this right now? Ah, perfect. Oh! Well, just a, just a good old booby trap then, is it? What the fuck do I even need a frog for? That must come after, because I certainly don't need him right now. That guy's just going to stay there, because there's no other flower things in this general area. Uh, let's just... Let's just fucking... Oh, you know what? I think I need to occupy this thing first so we can shoot this guy. Oh, no, this was a mistake, because now I'm going to die for sure. Oh, nice! Oh, no. <laughs> I really briefly managed to zip past. Uh, okay then. I guess I need to occupy him first so that he can go in for the kill. Ah, good thing that thing really sucks at what it does and managed to miss a couple times. That makes things a lot easier on me. There we go. Right on. Leaning from the exertion of combat, Abby tries to catch her rugged breath. The crackle of an incoming signal pierces the silence. Two years have passed, Abby. Isaac's crossing fell silent. No contact. You must accept it. We could have rescued him. The others are weak. No match for the divide. Those like you and Isaac are special. I have known only a few who could endure such trials. I mean, the fate of humanity is kind of on the line. You don't just, like, gamble with that, do you? Do you not see? We are feeble against the wrath of God Rage. The Divide is the tombland of those who betrayed the gods. Only ruins now remain. It is left to us to atone. Only then will the gods restore these dying lands. What is expected of us for this atonement? Feeling a sudden we tried. Of Abby suspends the comm stream and continues towards the next monolith. Oh, nice. Am I at the next monolith now? I mean, we, like, tried to steal the power for eternal life, right? And we kind of are suffering the consequences of that. I don't really know how you atone for that. I mean, you can't undo the fact that you greedily tried to steal that. It seems like that's kind of that you gotta bear that weight. Slow as she approaches the second monolith. Like the previous one, its facade features a few lines of chiseled script. Abby starts to read. The human's machinery ripped Obby. the oblivion. That's the word I wanted. The gods observed and debated their response. The twins, Orr and Ott, swore deathly vengeance on the humans. Their younger brother, Lys... They didn't want to name him Oss or Off or something? A quarrel broke out among the gods. Orr and Ott hacked Lys down and cast his body across the human lands he had sought Jesus. to protect. Not a very loving Thereafter, family. Thereafter, they unleashed a vengeful rage upon the helpless humans. Ruin and suffering spread through all the lands the humans once called their home. I don't know if Orr and Ott are, and List, 
are from a specific like mythology, Greek, Norse, anything like that, or if it's made up strictly for this game. Uh, I, I'll, I'll have to look that up for myself because I'm, I'm just kind of curious about it now. I like those shots because it shows you how massive the, the monolith is. The complex downwards. Every step takes her nearer to the heart of the calamity. Calamity, that's just straight up bastion. to the skies. Abby imagines a defense which had only stoked the gods' wrath further. She envies Yeah, shooting big, like, nuclear missiles at them probably isn't the best somewhere option. Somewhere to direct their rage. Isaac left two years ago, but the rage burned inside her as much as ever. Well, there you have it, guys. Chapter 2. I think a little bit longer than the last one, but I think because this game's kind of like a slower pace anyways, uh, people probably don't care about watching it in like little 10-15 minute chunks. The people who are going to be interested in the game are going to be interested in... I think a longer playthrough, that's my thinking on it at least, so I'll probably do things in just a few nice big long chunks just to show off the game, because I think it is pretty beautiful, like the, the areas, the artwork and everything is very well done. The puzzles, while somewhat simplistic, they're doing cool things with it. They've managed to uh, stump me a few times, more times than I would like really. That's a good sign though, it's 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 well done puzzle, puzzle making, kind of an interesting story to back it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon with Peregrine Chapter 3.